The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, John chapter 12, and I'm going to read verse 12 and 13. On the next day, when the large crowd that had come to the feast hear that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took the branches of the palm trees and went out to meet him and began shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, indeed the King of Israel. Amen. How many of you have a wonderful memories regarding Palm Sunday? How many of you have, uh, when you come this day and you came to church, you, you, you start thinking about, you know, those times when you were little and you remember your father and your mother also holding uh, the palm branches. This is a special day because uh, not only bring us uh, good memories, but also millions and millions of people in the same time, this morning, are worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can, can you see that? Millions and millions in, from people around the world are worshiping and celebrating the beginning of Holy Week. And we just hear um, uh, this uh, famous word, Hosanna, blesses is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And with that, we are officially entering into the week of the Passion, the Holy Week. Jesus Christ, as we see, approaches Jerusalem. And the people who came with him, the people who accompany him from Bethany, witnesses how he raised, uh, you remember Lazarus after four days in the tomb. All of them hear the declaration uh, he made to Martha. Do you remember? I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And the Lord continues to approach in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, there are many people, not only from that town, but also people from everywhere, because it is time to celebrate the day of Passover. And all those who believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob came to Jerusalem to celebrate the day when the one true God liberated the people of Israel from the hands of the Pharaoh. And when the people of uh, Jerusalem and the people in Jerusalem hear that Jesus of Nazareth is approaching, they come out to meet him. Because by this time, Jesus is already famous. Yes, he is. And everybody knows through the region about him. This group of people who go out to meet him, attention here, has the false idea, the false desire that Jesus Christ is going to establish his new kingdom through force and through the sword. They go out to meet him, uh, and this is very particular because this is similar to uh, 160 years ago from the time of Jesus Christ. Um, they, these people go out to meet him as they meet and receive uh, Simon Maccabee, who are familiar with Simon Maccabee. Simon Maccabee was some of the uh, 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 revolutionary or, or, or people who wants to liberate uh, uh, the people of Israel. So Simon Maccabee was a Jewish, again, revolutionary who expelled the intruders. Simon Maccabee expelled those who invade Jerusalem 160 years before. And because of that, the people of Israel believe that Jesus Christ, just like Simon Maccabee, will liberate his people. So Jesus Christ, uh, they believe, then is going to liberate the people of Israel, but this time from the hands of the Roman Empire. And do you hear in the reading, the people cry out, Hosanna, Hosanna, 
which everybody knows what it, that means, right? It means save us. What does that mean? Save us. Save us now. Save us now. Save us from the hands, attention here, save us from the hands of the Roman Empire. And the crowds waved palm branches as a sign of victory. The crowns sees that the Lord Jesus Christ is the King of Israel. And attention here, that, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. Because remember that the Roman soldiers are among the crowd. The Lord Jesus uh, intentionally, we, we see in the reading, sends or asks for a donkey and mounts it. I don't know if you notice this, but this is the only time that you see Jesus Christ being carried but something else. He, every time that you hear Jesus Christ doing something, he's always walking. But in this time, is the only time in the Bible that Jesus Christ is being carried by a donkey. Why a donkey? Why a donkey? Well, because the conquerors of that time used imposing horses, strong horses. But Jesus asked and sends for a donkey to show them and to show you that his kingdom is not of this world. He comes to bring the kingdom of peace and humility. And the people who shout out, Hosanna, do not know that Jesus Christ is, is not like any liberator. Jesus Christ is not like any other revolutionary who only brings temporary and fragile peace. He is not. Jesus Christ came to liberate them from some, someone more powerful than the Romans. Jesus Christ came to liberate them from a power more destructive than the Roman Empire. And that is what we celebrate today. Jesus Christ comes to liberate them from the power of the devil, from death, from the world. And mainly, Jesus Christ comes to liberate them from the guilt of original sin. This is extremely important. Dear brothers and sisters, on this day, Jesus Christ wants to liberate you from the power of the devil. Jesus Christ wants to liberate you from death, from the world, and also wants to liberate you from your sins. Every time that Jesus Christ is being preached, you all know that God, the Holy Spirit, as the Apostle says, through the foolishness of preaching, He wants to show you and liberate you from your sins. He wants to teach you His righteousness. And mainly, He wants to liberate you from your fears. Yes, He wants to liberate you from your current and actual fears. Question for you and for me and for everyone. What are you afraid of today? What are you afraid of today? What worries you today? Well, whatever your concern and fear may be, let me tell you one thing. Jesus Christ is the solution. Jesus Christ is the solution. And on this Palm Sunday, we celebrate our King. What is the job of the King? What do you think is the job of the King? To protect and maintain peace. Jesus Christ wants to protect you and give you peace. He wants that. But here is different. The peace that Jesus Christ offers surpasses our understanding. The protection that he offers is not only for this world, but also for the world to come. That is the big difference about your king and my king. And precisely this is what we celebrate today. 
Palm Sunday, a very important moment in the history of salvation. As Jesus Christ has decided to enter the Jewish, the Jewish capital, he has decided to enter in the place where he will be condemned to die a death of the cross, the most humiliating death at all times. Brothers and sisters, sometimes when we read uh, the passages of the Bible, we find hard to understand their meaning. But let me tell you that you are not the only ones. You just hear in the readings, even the, their own disciples did not understand the meaning of Jesus' work. And they walk with him. And sometimes, surely the same thing happened to you. You do not understand what God wants to tell you in his word. Look at the, what the verse 16 says. These things his disciples did not understand at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were greeting of him and that they had done these things for him. Dear brothers and sisters, just as the Holy Spirit revealed to his disciples, so the Holy Spirit today continues to reveal to those who hear his word like you and me on this day. Today, what are we celebrate? What we celebrate today? Palm Sunday. We celebrate Palm Sunday, the day Jesus entered Jerusalem as our king to be confirmed, to suffer, and to go to the cross so that you and I in this 2024 can have the assurance that only he can offer us true protection. Do you agree with me And that? He is the only one who can offer you a, a true protection, but also he is the only one who can offer you a true peace, not only for this world, but also for the world to come. That is what we celebrate today, Palm Sunday. Illness, body pains, cancer, old age. All these afflictions can and end with your temporary body. But Jesus Christ knows that to liberate you, it is necessary to eradicate evil from its roots. It's why we celebrate Palm Sunday. That is why we celebrate Palm Sunday today. That is why Jesus Christ enters Jerusalem heading towards the Mount Calvary. In a few days, he will be crucified. In a few days, he will receive all the weight of the law that you and I deserve. He will be crucified in your place for all the sins you have committed through your life. Do you hear that? Do you, do you just hear what I just said? And Good Friday, we will be remembering the day he was crucified, the day he received all the weight of the law you deserve. The day he was crucified in your place for all the sins you have committed throughout your life. He will be crucified for all the people who shouted, Osana, Osana, save us. In a few days, he will be crucified in your place and in my place. Do you realize that? He will be crucified for you for your public sins. He will be crucified for your private sins, which only you know. Oh, let me put it in a better way. He will be crucified for your private sins that only you and God know. There is no way to hide from God. And in today's reading, again, we see something, somebody a lot of people shouting, Hosanna, save us, 
But do you remember why they want to try to be saved? For what? They were saying, Osana, save us from the Roman Empire. Wrong. And in today's reading, we see some approaching him for his fame and resurrecting Lazarus. Wrong. And in the reading, we see the jealous Pharisees seeking ways to trap him. Wrong. And unfortunately, in some way, in some point in our lives, we have also approached God seeking only a benefit. And also, that was and is wrong. You, you may, and I don't want to admit that, you may also don't want to admit that, and I know that some of you here in this moment will be absolutely refuse that. But let me tell you, we are all guilty of it. We all are guilty of. That is why Jesus Christ went to the cross. That is why you come to church. That is why Jesus Christ went to the cross. We do not always trust in what God says when we do not see the results we want. We are all guilty of placing false expectations on God by doing our will and not His will in our lives. That is why He went to the cross. We all are guilty of uh, looking to Jesus for all the wrong things, but not looking at him for what matter most. And what matter most? What matter most? Your eternal salvation, my eternal salvation. That is why Jesus Christ went to the cross. That is why, dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate Palm Sunday. Dear brothers and sisters, God the Father loves you. He loves you. Do you hear that? He loves you. That is why He brings you to church every single Sunday. He loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you so much that He sent His Son to this earth so that everyone who believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, God love you so much. Yes, God love you so much that he sent his son into this world not to condemn you, but so that you may be saved through him. And that is what we celebrate today. The proof that God loves you, let me tell you, listen to me very careful. The proof that God loves you is not found in your bank account. It's not. Not in your beautiful garden. Not in your beautiful house. No. The proof that God loves you is not found in the car you drive. Not in your good health, because all of that is temporary. All of that is temporary. The proof that God loves you is not found in your health, your temporary happiness, your good job, or how well things are going for your life today. No. In fact, the proof that God the Father loves you is found in the place that nobody wants to look. The proof that God loves you is found in the cross of Jesus Christ. That is why we are celebrating Palm Sunday today. And that is where on this Palm Sunday 
the Lord Jesus Christ is heading. We are about to celebrate Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. I invite you to come, invite others, so they can also see the powerful work of Jesus Christ in the cross. Amen.